Jacaranda Insights for Thursday the 4th of July 2024. I'm not sure whether this is about America because it's Independence Day, but there's coins coming down to the bottom of the card. So that's virtually saying that money, security, things like that aren't your priority today. Just with this card upright, it's the Five of Pentacles, which form a window at a church and these people are on the other side in the snow. So most of us would think that a church would be inviting these sort of people in, giving them a meal, a bed for the night. But in society, we've gotten used to being cast out in the cold or feeling cast out in the cold because we're a bit different. We're a bit unique. We're a little bit less likely to follow the first thing that's told to us these days. So I'm thinking when I see this upright, it can be quite a good card because it means that you're moving in your individual unique way in the world. In reverse, you could be feeling pressured because of money, because of the lack of uh, security to be continuing in doing something that you really don't enjoy doing today. Just know that the next card also is a pentacle card and it's crossroads here. And normally this card upright is a really favorable card with, which means lots of coins, but also abundance in having the family uh, get together. The kids are playing, the dogs are having fun. Here's the poppy. He's envisaged this wonderful ending of his life where he's going to be looking at all this joyous uh, events and slowing down and not having to work so hard you know on here there's all his little trophies and pictures of what he's achieved and certificates and things like that but when that's in reverse maybe all that doesn't matter anymore all of the accolades and all of the you know diplomas under the sun is not making you happy because you would really like to be able to be your original genuine self in society in the world but you are reliant on getting that wage coming in and you're thinking that it's a long way off before you're going to be this secure because of the economy maybe just know keep thinking about being the king of of pentacles the king of your life you can make that happen and it doesn't have to be by following I shouldn't say not don't follow the rules. No, it's not that I'm saying that. I'm saying don't follow traditional old fashioned thought patterns anymore. Be a little bit inventive because the age of Aquarius is coming in November for 20 years and that's about finding your talents and your truths from within and that's when inventions and creative ideas uh, like all this AI, sound healing, you know, new different vibrational things that are happening for, you know, uh, doctors and nurses. And I'm seeing a naturopath at the moment and he can literally tell you how much energy is inside your body. So these sorts of, like, there be, would have been a fantasy years ago, but no, they're actually happening because people are imagining it and then somehow creating it to be a tangible, real thing. So I'm loving that the King of Pentacles says, don't give up on your ideas. Don't give up on you. Keep on thinking of yourself in that beautiful space with all these cards turned around so that you are able to look at your life from a favorable, favorable position. And really, possessions aren't everything, are they? It's your health and your happiness. And that's what we've realized, I think, since COVID as well. So king is one, and then we have 10, so 11, and then we have five. So 16, one and six is seven, and seven is the mind and the creativity. Look at all those coins. So being in the right state of mind and not and feelings, letting your feelings guide you, just relax. Don't worry about the lack because then you'll get more lack and fake it till you make it and be the king of pentacles today. Be in charge. I'm fine. I'm good. Have a good day, everyone.